Welcome to Spring at CMU, the early edition. I say early since this short video is a primer to the in-person and live-streamed event on April the 28th, to which you all are invited most warmly. Now, by its very title, Spring at CMU evokes the wild hope of this season, a time when fledgling fresh sprouts wrestle with final winter blasts. It's a time of intensity for students, intensely focused days, and also nights for some of them, as through papers and various projects, they seek to make sense of the world in this time and place. And as they find their way through life's blasts of pain and strife, alongside new sprouts of healing, joy, and possibility. You know, these students are doing this learning because they are trusted. They're trusted together to be people of service, leadership, and reconciliation for the sake of the world that God so loves. Indeed, it is in the love and blessing of God the Creator that we learn and live on land stewarded since ancient times by Anishinaabe, Cree, and Dakota First Nations, and on the homeland of the Red River Métis Nation. We are grateful for their hospitality. And with this short video, we say thank you to everyone who makes CMU education possible. On this video, you'll hear the CMU singers, an interview with a graduating student, and an invitation from board member Dylan Tarnowski. Take heart in these glimpses of CMU. I'm delighted to be joined today by Cedric Cutt, who graduates this spring with a major in business and administration and a minor in communications and media. So Cedric, what comes next for you? I know that's not really the fair question to ask, but I know. I'll ask it anyway. <laughs> what comes next for, for you uh, following graduation? Well, um, as a normal international student, uh, after graduation, um, I'm hoping to uh, work for uh, a year and um, so that I can be eligible for, to apply for my PR. And after PR means? PR means uh, permanent residence. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So uh, working on that status. And then after uh, going uh, for uh, my master's in uh, public relation. Uh, <laughs> so another PR. The <laughs> yeah, first another. PR, so you can do the second PR. That's yes, great. Which is PR to PR, I'll okay. say. Yeah, so, yeah. And then from the master's in public relations, yeah. you want to do what? Well, I want to have my own firm. Your own firm in, in public in relations. Public relation. Okay. That's my big, like my big dream. That's your big dream. Yes. Well, certainly you're going for that. Uh, That's great. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So Cedric, during your time here, you've been really involved in leadership with a position as student, uh, well, in terms of international student assistant and so on. And I know you've been leading a really successful program called Thursdays Busy Together, together. Yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about that program and, and you know, its success, I would say, is because lots of people have attended and yeah. I know there's the lots of vibrancy there. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about your vision and some of the highlights there. Well, yeah, uh, thanks, Gerald. So um, Thursday Together, thanks to uh, Sandra, because she's the one that you really created this program. I just came to help. Um, but my vision for Thursday Together for this year uh, was to uh, strengthen the relationship among all students at CMU as well as um, uh, staff and uh, faculty. Um, and so how I implemented it was um, uh, we used to have uh, group discussions where um, we would get a specific topic and we would invite um, staff members, we would open it for everyone to join, for, have like a very like informal discussion, conversation, we would have food, snacks and it's you know it's very like um, it's very nice uh, after people get to uh, have contacts and uh, yeah that was working people were you know happy there so and it had something working. about like people learning from each other yeah. tell us a bit about what you were after there yeah so basically Thursday Together used to be an event for only international students, right? Okay. Um, so when I came in and I talked with my supervisor, Sandra, and I said, um, well, international students are coming, but um, what are they learning? You know, and I saw that there was the importance uh, in them learning from um, other students and from yeah. staff and faculty and staff, faculty and student learning from international okay. students as well. Yeah. So then I decided to make it open to everybody, uh, you know, to, to learn from each other, each other. You know, that was the, the idea behind it. And it has been very successful. I remember and um, we had an event where I even yeah. invited you there. Yeah. Um, it was 
quite a success. We had lots of people um, attending at the conference room. Uh, we had lots of international food and everyone was happy. We learned that day, we made connections and this is all about Thursday Together. I think you're going to be amazing with public relations, that's for sure, after doing that, right? <laughs> so thanks for making those connections and all that learning. Now, tell us a, a bit about your CMU classes. Where did you come to life? What are some highlights for you? Well, um, CMU classes, all CMU classes are very interesting. Like, um, I learned from lots of like the classes that I took here uh, throughout my years. Um, but like, um, I think one of my the class that I enjoyed uh, was uh, oral communication with a professor here uh, named David Bowser. Okay. That was nice. I really enjoyed the class um, just because um, the class taught me how to present, how to um, to speak in front of people, um, what are the do's and don'ts, um, and it really helped me as shape like uh, my leadership skills uh, as a person just because I do events such as Thursday together um, and I do lots of public speaking so this class really shaped you know my, my understanding of how to do those things and uh, you know how I could you know speak with people yeah well that's wonderful the way the class connected with how you give leadership to things how you do oral communications yeah. And even in how you connect in other activities. What else did you do this year besides classes? Besides class? Ah, wonderful. So um, this year, uh, I was involved in the with the Blazers uh, in the soccer team. So okay. yeah, I played um, both uh, outdoor um, and indoor soccer, which mm -hmm. was fantastic amazing uh, the guys the program is is lovely I enjoyed uh, really my last year I wasn't able to join the soccer team um, when I started school because I had a very hard schedule and I just came to Canada which was I had to process all this yeah. so um, yeah this year I was very flexible and I could do it and I I, I, I enjoyed it yeah. I loved it that's right and where did you come to Canada from uh, I came from uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Okay, yeah. okay, wonderful. And, and I know you've kept up connections with that community. So, you know, with all your PRs, you're going to have lots of ways of forming of connections, <laughs> right? With, uh, you know, with people from Ivory Coast, with people that have been your friends here at school yeah, and so that's on. True. Yeah. Hey, well, Cedric, it's been wonderful chatting today. And thanks so much for all the things that have happened through you as you've been part of the CMU community. Sounds good, thanks. Nothing Gold Can Stay, a poem by the Canadian poet Robert Frost and arranged by Stephanie Martins, speaks about loss and love. My name is Jessica Mendel, and I am a music teacher and also studying music education here at CMU. Through music, I want to teach my students to learn to express themselves and explore their emotions, and also what it is like to live in community with others and to praise God together. Living is learning to love, and the greater part of loving is learning to let go of control. Out of love, God gives us things, people, experiences, and relationships to give us a glimpse of who He is, but we often fixate on the gifts themselves instead of the giver. Everything we love is bound to time and change, but we want to control the outcomes, to seize the gifts and the beauty, clinging tightly to them because we're scared of loss and of where that loss can leave us. The reality is that we live in a broken world where we will experience loss, but it's the very fragility and impermanence of nature's first green that grants it its beauty. And so, as we learn to love in this fragile, broken, and impermanent world, we learn a little bit more about God's love for us.
Greetings from Kitchener, Ontario, where spring has arrived. My name is Dylan Tarnowski, and I serve Canadian Mennonite University on the Board of Governors. I'm also an alumnus, having graduated with my Bachelor of Arts in 2008. And a lot has changed since then. New degree offerings, new buildings, new faculty and staff, new students, new alumni. However, when I get the chance to come onto campus or visit with a friend from CMU, it's like I'm transported right back to those first days as a student. Although, I only told myself that I was going to spend one year there, just to try it out. And what kept me were not only the lectures that stretched me academically, or the intrigue of the new Concord Hall residence, which was breaking ground just outside my dorm window, but the friendships and relationships built with faculty and with my peers. And this is what makes CMU distinct among all the choices for where to get an education that students have in front of them today. CMU intentionally does education based in relationship. Through disciplinary course engagement, students enter into relationship with one another to challenge themselves. It's in that relationship that we are able to feel safe, supported, and encouraged to be vulnerable as we learn together and wrestle with the big questions of life and faith, be it in the classroom, in the halls, on the court or the pitch, or in Potker Hall every night at 8 p.m. for snack. Take a moment to consider in your own life how much more difficult it would be to step out and take a risk if you had loose connections with your peers, your surroundings, if you felt all alone. As friends and alumni of CMU, we have created bonds and experienced the strength of relationship ourselves. But for students today, and for those taking their first steps towards higher education, we have an opportunity to ensure their experience at CMU is exceptional. We have an opportunity to give back. I invite you to continue your relationship with CMU through prayer, words of encouragement, and financial support. You may choose to respond to the short Spring at CMU video with a gift today through the website. Whether it's an e-transfer, using bill pay, starting monthly gift, or using your credit card, you can give with confidence through the secure CMU giving page. You're also invited to the in-person event, Spring at CMU, on April 28th. And don't worry, if you can't make it, it will also be live streamed. Of course, the staff and the development department are more than happy to take your call or receive your check. Will you take a moment with me right now to consider in which ways you're able to support the mission and vision of CMU with a gift? There is no amount that is too small to make a difference in support of CMU. I know when I was a student living in the Catherine Friesen apartment block, every single bit that CMU was able to give me through the annual fund in support of my education made a huge difference. Those financial supports are not possible without you. You may have already supported CMU earlier in the year, and for that, I want to thank you sincerely for your commitment. As we turn the page on winter and enter into the season of spring, it is my hope that you too find renewal, peace, and the ability to connect with one another in fellowship and relationship. Thank you. Thanks for your interest, your prayers, and your investment in the students and the education entrusted to CMU. We look forward to connecting again on April the 28th. The hope of Christ be with you this day and always. Thank you.